Did that guy even see us? Yeah. That guy didn't even see us. That's crazy. No, not on my desk. Immediately, we felt dwarfed by our surroundings, but at this point, we still had no idea of the true scale of the entire complex. I'm drawing you! You don't care. So, there's probably going to be more workers. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Rummaging Ferret. Hello guys, I just got done um, mowing the lawn, so I didn't finish. I just did the one front yard. Um, I need to do the backyard, well, both backyards tomorrow, um, the whole back side of the property. Um, and I'll do that after work tomorrow, or at least part of it, we'll see. So before anyone says anything about um, me wearing an N95 mask to do the lawn, I've been wearing the same mask for over a year. Um, I have stapled this thing back together I don't know how many times um, and it broke again this time on the other side usually it's this side that gives me issue but this side finally had it today so um and it's nasty it's brown it's got sweat marks and stain marks from my face and it's just gross and nasty but it saves me from having respiratory issues for the next couple days I'm like covered in glass clippings. <laughs> so that's why I wear it. And I repeatedly use the same one. So I'm not taking a mask away from anybody. It's the same one I've had for a year used for the same purpose and only for mowing the lawn. Um, and there's a story behind the hat. <laughs> so um, my grandmother was in her 80s. When she finally passed, and she was full steam up until the summer before she she passed. Um, she did everything. So, she's lived in the same house, this house, um, since she was in her 20s, I think, when Dad was born. I think Dad was like five months or something when they moved into this house. She has a lot of stuff. I think I've mentioned that before, that I'm still going through everything in every room and digging through stuff. So, what do you get the woman that has everything, you know? So, like, I never gave my grandmother gifts. Because my dad or my aunt would always buy her stuff. You know, whatever she needed. She always had it, you know. Or she already owned it. Um... So instead of doing that, I would do things around the house for her. I regularly cleaned her fans. I would replace all her light bulbs that were burnt out. I would just work on the lawn, you know, not necessarily mowing, but I would, you know, hand cut all the bushes, you know, because all she had was a set of clippers, you know. So I would do things like clean under her fridge when she had a roach problem, um, caulk all around the kitchen, recock some of the bathroom, you know, just like all these other things that were gifts to her. Um, because other people wouldn't necessarily think to do them and she wouldn't ask. She would not ask for help for things. Um, so, you know, like my cousin used to mow the lawn for the longest time until he went off to college and then they had to get somebody else to do it. But for the longest time, my cousin mowed the lawn, you know, um, but she wouldn't necessarily ask for things like, can you clean my fans? Or can you fix the termite damage in the other room? It was always, you know, stuff that normal people would need done, not the one-off stuff, you know? Um, or things that don't need to be done frequently. So those were the types of things I always did for her as a gift. And she, she understood and she was extremely grateful for them. But at the same time, she didn't want me working on my vacation, so she was very mixed feelings about it. But after I told her, you know, why I did these things for her, because I never bought her anything, and she always took care of me growing up, you know, it was my turn to take care of her. So 
I always wanted to give back and that's how I did it. And after a while, after she understood that, she kind of let me do stuff. And um, she would come up with things for me to do that needed to be done or things that had been bothering her for the longest time that she couldn't, she didn't ask anybody to do. Not that she couldn't get anyone to do, because believe me, this whole town would have stepped up and done it for her. She just wouldn't ask, you know? It's okay if it doesn't get done. Well, you know what? It's been on the back burner for how long, Mama? Let's get it done, right? You know. So one of those things was always working on the lawn, cutting back the bushes, because, you know, if I did it, she didn't have to pay somebody to do it, right? So that was me saving her money. That's a good gift. So um, she always used to yell at me because I wouldn't put on sunscreen. I wouldn't put on bug repellent. I wouldn't put on any of the stuff. And she would, she would get, not mad, but she would get frustrated with me that I wouldn't do it. And eventually she just came out and threw this hat at me. Like, it, like she literally walked over to me and I'm like looking at her going, what are you doing? And she like popped it on my head and walked away. <laughs> and she stood on the porch and I didn't take it off. I didn't touch it. I, I may have like readjusted it a little bit because she just kind of threw it up there and I wore the hat. So to this day, every day that I do the lawn... I wear the hat because there's a little voice inside of my head. That's my grandmother going, wear it, <laughs> put on sunscreen. And I do put on sunscreen now and I do put on bug spray most of the time. I, sh I forgot to do it today. I should have, but I didn't. But, um, but yeah, so that's the story behind the hat. And so it's getting faded now. It used to be a hot pink and this, I think she found this in one of her closets just on the top shelf. And it was like neon pink, like Easter fluorescent pink. And it's pretty faded now. It's kind of like a pastel -y pink now. It's not as vibrant as it was. It's all that time in the sun. There's like some spots that are that are brighter pink. You can't really see it because of the sun. But so that's the hat. And before Nisa and one says anything about the mask, I wanted to put that out there too. I don't know if you can hear that. You probably can't hear that. Hi, I look derpy, but, um, it's my grandmother's hat. She always used to make me wear it whenever I was out here working on yard stuff for her. But, um, in the background, you probably can't hear this, but I hear at least three lawnmowers running. So I'm not the only person who had this idea today. So I'm gonna, like, so I got sunscreen on. We're good. So I'm gonna... Flip the camera around and I'm going to start working on the other lawn since this one's been done. Good morning. <laughs> so, um, I don't even know what today is. Today is the 30th. Thursday, the 30th of April. I haven't vlogged for a while. Um, because I've been working like six days a week. <laughs> so, um, I had today off and I made a big plan of what was going to happen and I wrote everything down for like a weekly schedule and every night I get home I work on doing illustrations for stickers to put up in the store um, so I can get the shicker the sti shickers the shickers <laughs> stickers the stickers illustrations sent to the manufacturers so they can send them back to me so hopefully I'll be finishing that today but I had plans to wake up super early this morning and go to the grocery store because when I close, I've been closing every day. So like I haven't been able to do my grocery shopping because I'm there past store hours. Um, and they would let me grocery shop for a little bit, you know, but I, I need a lot of things. Typically a sh there's two shifts for me that I basically get from um, my normal department and it would be used to be, used to be, before the pandemic hit, would be I either come in at 8.30 in the morning, which means I have to wake up at 7 in the morning, or, and stay till 5, or you work the night shift, you come in at about 5, and then you stay till like 10 to close. So what's kind of been happening is since the pandemic, 
they've been bringing me in since our hours have changed. Now the store's only open from 8 to 8, except for certain days where we have senior mornings, which are we open an hour earlier for senior citizens. But we also um, close an hour later for um, first responders and medical staff are only open till 8. Well, seafood used to close at 8.30 and the store stayed open till 10 because there wasn't enough business to warrant keeping us open. Well, now they're having me stay open till eight, but that means I can't get any of my cleaning done because it's been so busy and there's more people jammed into a shorter period of time. So I can't get my cleaning done until after um, eight o'clock, which means I'm still there till 10, but like all of my cleaning gets shifted till after we close. Whereas before I would probably start cleaning at like between five and seven is when I would usually start depending on how busy I knew that day was going to be. Anyways, where I'm getting with this is, um, I can't grocery shop at night. <laughs> usually I would grocery shop when I close and I would just, you know, cause we closed before the store shut down. We'd close at eight 30. I'd get done cleaning around, you know, before 10, maybe uh, like on a good day. And then at 10 o'clock, just grab my stuff, head up to the registers and check out. I can't do that. <clears throat> so what has ended up happening is I've gone so long without grocery shopping that I was going to grocery shop early this morning, but it takes me almost like 40 minutes to get to the store, which is a lot of gas and it's a lot of time. And I'm like, well, I could save myself time and just do it tomorrow because tomorrow my shift is an opening shift, but I leave at one o'clock. So if I leave at one o'clock, I can do my grocery shopping after I get off my shift. Anyways, so I'm moving my grocery shopping to tomorrow. So I woke up super early this morning just by accident. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to mow the lawn, but I had no energy this morning. I just, I did not. Like I was so exhausted and it's probably because I have been working, you know, six days this week and I just, I needed a day off. And so I slept in. So my body said rest. So I listened to it, it is now 11 o'clock. So my day's kind of kiboshed a little bit, but not too bad. I did have plans to mow the lawn, um, today, which I've had all week and Yesterday, to my shock, I keep getting backlit, when I woke up yesterday, I freaked out a little bit because someone in the neighborhood had mowed my lawn. Granted, my property is fairly large, and that is like one-fourth of the entire thing that I need to mow. It usually takes me eight hours to mow my lawn, if not more, because I need to take breaks from the heat. Um, it was raining last night, so hopefully the grass has dried up a little bit. It seems like the sun's coming back out. It was pretty cloudy this morning, but I still have three-fourths of the yard to mow, and I'm probably not going to do it all today. I'm going to break it up into chunks so I don't feel like I'm dying because <laughs> I have a push mower. I need a riding lawn mower, but that's like... A thousand three hundred dollars that I don't have. I mean, we all got the stimulus money, but I'm sitting on that because that needs to be used for when work has too many COVID cases for me to feel comfortable. We had a COVID case in my store. It was announced, I think, on Saturday or Friday, and I think they learned about it on Friday. And that's scary. We are in a small town. Um, also, another family that actually lives in town has it as well, I was told by one of my neighbors. So, um, yeah. So I'm sitting on that money for when I don't feel comfortable anymore and I'm just going to take a leave of absence for a bit from work, which they're allowing us to do. Um, I'm seeing a lot of the at-risk people still wearing masks and like older people who actually have some common sense are wearing them. Some aren't. A lot of people that like are in their 50s are not wearing them. And I feel less safe in the store. <laughs> I had a guy in the store not that long ago. Okay, must have been a single dad. God bless him. But 
You could tell he was sweating profusely, and he was a fit-looking guy. And all he was doing was buying groceries. And you could tell this dude was running a fever. And he had his probably six, seven-year-old with him. And he was grocery shopping, and he was asking me questions while trying to hand me product. And I'm like, I'm not, I grabbed another product that was the one he wanted me to scan to see what the price was. But I would not touch the one he handed to me, and he gave me the evilest of looks. And it's like, dude, you are running a fever, very clearly. You know, you are sweating. Like, you could see it on his shirt. You could see it dripping on his forehead. Like, he was running hot, and he was in the store with his kid. And, like, I get it if you're a single dad, but we do have delivery services for that. You do not need to come in the store. Or send somebody else you know. You know, if you're saying, hey, I'm sick, ask your neighbor, ask your friend. You know, reach out to somebody else and say, hey, I'm not feeling good. You mind run into the store for me? I'll never ask you again once this is over, you know? Like, but seriously, dripping sweat. He was in the store trying to hand us stuff. And he's standing less than six feet. He was super close. And he was just, you could see it balling up on his forehead, his cheeks, and his shirt was soaked. And it wasn't raining outside. It wasn't a super hot day. This was earlier, several weeks ago. It was a colder day. You know, it was before the weather really started warming up. It's just, you know, it... Like, I get that you don't want to have this affect your life, that you don't want the panic here, pandemic here, that you want it to be wished away and you want nothing to do with it. We all want nothing to do with the pandemic. We really don't. Okay. Especially those of us that have to work through it. We really just want it to go away, but it's not. And I should probably get off my soapbox and make a different video about this. So I'm just going to stop here <laughs> before I get too animated. Because um, this is about today and my day off and not about the stress that I have to deal with at work every day. Grocery shopping didn't happen today. Um, I have it planned for tomorrow. So I'm going to go mow the lawn. I've got to finish my backpack ferret stickers. Um, I already finished um, Hakuto's backpack stickers and I posted that to Instagram. Um, I'm almost done with the ferret ones. I just have to color the ferrets in and color the lamplight. Um, and they're kind of like camping gear stickers almost, but they're animal related. Um, but it's just, I also want to do a sticker that says I survived my job, but I, I, I gotta get a better idea for that. Um, it's not just going to be text, but it's going to be like factory workers, grocery shopper workers, first responders, medical people. I'm going to... I'm going to work on that today. Hopefully finish that. Shouldn't be too long for me to finish it. I finished all the line work yesterday, last night after I got home. So I'm going to do that. And I will see you after I get the lawn mode, which is going to take me a lot of time. I'm not going to do all four lawns today, or three lawns, because one's already done for me. Thank you, whoever did that. I love you so, so much. It saves my butt so much having you do that. Whoever did it, I love you. Probably my neighbor, but I don't know. <laughs> I need to contact her and see if she actually did it and thank her personally. But I think she's the one that did it. Maybe. Because she talked to me probably a week ago. <laughs> and hopefully I get some other stuff done. But we'll see how much oomph I've got. Because the sun takes it out of me and I get knocked out and it's hot. So. Oh, Kirkle says hello. You see him? Right. He was right in here somewhere. I don't know. He disappeared now. Oh, maybe not. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Sorry about the rant. I, I might make a different video out of the rant. I don't know. Note to self, edit. <clears throat> oh! There he is! And we're going down. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you later. Hi, guys. So, um, today went kind of awry. <laughs> More than one way. 
So, after I got done talking to you guys last time, um, and I got done mowing the lawn and everything, and I vlogged a little bit about the mask and the story behind the hat, I realized it was the last day of the month, which means Hearthstone, that's the last day to get your card backing. And so I jumped on there, no problem, I'm just going to breeze through five games, five wins, it'll be easy. No. They released um, a new expansion this month sometime, and then also released a new class, um, the Demon Hunter. And the Demon Hunter is very overpowered. There was a change also in seasons. Um, so now it's the Phoenix instead of the Dragon. We're part of a whole new... It, basically, a new system sort of emerged, and I had a decent deck before, and there was just... I couldn't beat anyone, and I'm in the lowest rank, and, like, I could not defeat anybody, and that blew my mind, and I was online, and I was reading, and it's like, you know, the basic standard cards for um, Demon Hunters, there's a 60% something close to that, over 60% win ratio. And that is nuts! And I had a pretty good deck before, thank you. I mean, I didn't try to climb rank. I could have if I wanted to put the effort in. So, I'm like, well, maybe I'll just get Demon Hunter. Well, I started going through, there's like a prologue story that you gotta go to, and there's different matches you gotta win in order to unlock the Demon Hunter. This is the last day. I got through about three out of six, I think it was, rounds of bosses, and I'm like, okay, this is taking too long. So I just went and googled how to build a good hunter deck real quick, and a cheap one, because like, I don't have enough coin to spend on a lot of this. And when I say coin, I mean digital coin that you rack up. Thankfully, I had... I hardly ever um, create cards. There's a process that you can go through that when you get a duplicate card, you can disenchant it for dust, and then you can turn that dust into a card that you need or don't have. So I had racked up a lot of dust, just because I never use it, right? So I just went and I just started building a brand new deck, um, Hunter Dragon deck. It uses dragons and traps um, to help win the game. And a lot of the cards... I mean, kind of like my other deck, um, kind of function together, but this functions together with a lot more newer cards, um, and utilizes new tricks and tactics in order to win a game. So once I did that, I had a pretty decent, it was still hard to take out just demon hunters in general. Um, there's a couple times I got pretty close, but didn't quite make it. And then there were a couple times where I think they were, like, newer players because they had the um, standard um, card back instead of a fancy one. Um, and I am in the lower tier, which is where newbies start out at, usually. So I, you know, kind of worked my way through some of them, and it took me, it took me a fair amount of hours to actually get the card back, just to win five games. It was nuts. Like, I should not have to fight this hard at this low of a level. Just to, like, I feel bad for any new person that's come into this game trying to win anything, because you're just going to fail so bad. Like, and this was a problem before, but they fixed it. And now it seems like it's a problem again, suddenly. Um, with the new arrangement of systems and stuff that they put in place. It's not the same, I mean, it is, but it isn't the same tier system. It's different. It definitely feels different when you're fighting people, um, when you're taking your deck of cards against somebody else's. But anyways, I started that right after I started mowing, and it is now almost 8 o'clock, <laughs> so that took a heck of a long time, but the card back is very pretty, and it's part of Zang uh, Zangamara Marsh which is glowing mushrooms that are massive, and it's, if you play World of Warcraft, it's a beautiful zone to play in, and the card back reflects that, and that's one of my favorite zones, so I really kind of wanted to get that card back. I try to get them every month, 
Um, I've only ever missed one since the game came out. Like I said, I'm not huge into Hearthstone. I just kind of play enough to get the card back and then I'm done. But um, I used to love the game, and I, I've slowly grown to hate it since everybody, even at the low tier, is like, super OP, like, overpowered and just can wipe you in a minute. I mean, I, I shouldn't have to buy a whole brand new deck, and luckily I didn't have to spend real money on it. But you can tell a lot of people just throw cash into this. And it's, I don't know, it's gotten bad. Um, and I thought about giving up on it this month and just saying no. <laughs> but I really wanted that card back. It's a pretty card back. So... Anyways, that was my rant. I'm going to go work on the computer and uh, do things I actually need to do. I've been working on dishes and laundry, so I've almost got those done. And oof, what else do I need to do today? I'm going to okay, trim my ferret's nails and clean their ears. I'm not going to do that on camera because that's too much, too much effort. Um, but I am going to finish one of my stickers I'm working on, and I need to design a new sticker um, for basically surviving your job during COVID, because that's a feat right now. So I'm going to make a commemorative sticker for that, um, and then maybe send those off to a publisher and get those stickers made and then sent back to me. Stickers are actually pretty cheap to have made, so... You know, that's good. <laughs> I thought they were super expensive to have made, and they're not. I can get, like, a hundred or so for, like, 20 bucks. That's not bad. Um, anyways, so I'm going to start on that. Um, see you later. But, yeah, it's, it's frustrating. I feel like I lost my entire day today, it's both to oversleeping, but I must have needed it, because I usually don't sleep that late, to, you know, just... Hearthstone. It's bad. Especially if you don't particularly enjoy playing like you used to. Like, I love playing, but, like, when you lose every game, it's hard to like it. You know? And you could play for five hours and not win a thing. Not win a single game. I mean, at the rate that they're going now, because it's eight o'clock and five... Yeah, uh, so, because I stopped mowing at two, so it's, took a quick shower, so we'll say like, I don't know, two, two thirty, so, three thirty, four thirty, five thirty, six thirty, seven thirty, eight. That's like six hours that I spent trying to win five matches. That should only take 15 minutes per game. Anyways, my rant is done. I'm, I'm going now. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed me and my ferrets, it's free to subscribe. And remember, there's magic in art.